views of Kyrgyzstan, or Kazakhstan. First views of Kazakhstan. <laughs> so far it looks very deserty. This week we rode from the Chinese Kazakhstan border to the Kazakhstan Kyrgyzstan border. And oh, what a ride! <laughs> and we experienced the freedom and the friendliness, kindness, and amazing hospitality of Central Asia for the very first time. And the crappy roads of Central Asia for the very first time. <laughs> yeah, it was quite the adventure. I love this place already. The people are so nice. The border guards are so nice. And he called me a beautiful girl. And it was so sweet. And they all, well not all of them, but most of them speak pretty good English. We stopped and ate lunch and we had like two people come and talk to us who spoke great English and were super helpful. And they were asking us if we needed anything, if we had eaten, if we needed water. And we said, oh, no, we've eaten, we just need a hotel. And the guy was like listing off hotels for us and saying, oh, these one, this one's quieter, like you should go there. They were so nice. I love this place already. So last night we camped for the first time here in Kazakhstan under this lovely, lovely tree behind me. It was a great camp spot. We had shade to hang out in in the afternoon. Um, over there, back there, there was like a little stream. It's dried up now, which is kind of funny, but when we got here last night, it was full of like crystal clear water. So it was nice. We had a water source. And a snake. Oh, Justin saw a snake there. Thank God I didn't see it. But yeah, we got to wash off in the water, hang out in the shade, and we n never got bothered. We had like one person drive up and say something to us in Kazakh that I we didn't understand. But I honestly think that they were car camping and probably like wondering if we were staying there. But they just drove away. Other than that, nice. didn't get bothered. It was really nice. So hopefully this continues through Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. I've heard nothing but good things about camping here. So, so far it's proven true. Should be good. Kazakhstan's build shit-ass pavement roads when Justin voluntarily offers for us to take the dirt track, the shorter dirt track, to the canyon. So we were riding along this really crappy road, just bounce, 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 and came across this dirt road that, well, it looked actually like it was going to be smoother. Um, it didn't end up being smoother, but we turned around and took it anyways. And it was something like 20 kilometers down this road to skip out on 60 kilometers of road that wasn't very smooth. Yeah, so and we figured we would take the 20k over the 60k, thinking it wouldn't be that much worse. Alright, that's where we're going. 
Sharon Canyon. It's supposed to be like a mini Grand Canyon. We found this dirt road that cuts off like 20 kilometers and the pavement's so shitty we're just gonna take it. Hey lizard lizard. What you doing? You blend in very well with the desert. You're just chilling. And it wasn't that much worse. It was, it was so much worse. It was it was much shorter. You, regardless of how difficult and how crappy the road was, it still saved a lot of time and a lot of effort. Um, but it was gravel, it was washboard, and it was loose. So we uh, we were riding and walked a little bit, fell a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had our we first it. and only fall so far into a patch of very deep sand where the bike pretty much just stopped and like slow motion tipped over. <laughs> No worries, we fell into a sand pit, so. Not so It's not bad. like it hurt very much, yeah. but yeah. So this is where we learned never to take shortcuts in Central Asia. Although we didn't learn this lesson very well because we proceeded to take another shortcut just like two days later. So tonight we are camping just outside of Charon Canyon National Park. We're still in Charon Canyon, hence the view behind me. Um, and it's such a beautiful spot. It's so cool in Kazakhstan that you can just roll up to a place. Earlier there were a bunch of people here, but nobody really bothered us. They were just walking around taking a look. And now that the sun is setting, we have this place completely to ourselves. And Man, what a view from a campsite. So yesterday, we stopped off at Charon Canyon National Park to take a look on our ride. And it was pretty cool. Everybody calls it like a mini Grand Canyon, and it kind of is. I would say it's more like a cross between a canyon and a gorge, because it's really narrow. I don't know, what do you think? It's a Grand Canyon. I mean, the as a canyon goes, it's, it's sandstone worn out by the river. So it looks like a canyon, it looks like the Grand Canyon, just really small. Yeah, I don't know. I just think because it's so narrow it's literally just like one path whereas the gr actual grand canyon like is... goes out in every direction for miles and miles so i don't know how grand it is but it's a cool canyon and if you're in kazakhstan you should definitely come see it it was pretty cool and then last night we actually camped still in the canyon just not in the park yeah, yeah so we camped beautiful. in the canyon two nights in a row yeah beautiful place very nice That's pretty much climb number one. And now we've got 850 more meters left to the Kyrgyzstan border to go up. But it's really, what, like 600 meters? To the top of the continuous like steep part. Then we'll get a little bit of downhill and then very gradual uphill all the way to the border. So we'll see if we make it to Kyrgyzstan today. We just might. Yeah. We're coming for you. Hey, 
Mike, 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 what day is it? It ain't hump day. Is it hump day? Eee, camel, camel. Flappy hump. <laughs> His humps are so floppy. <laughs> <laughs> this Fanta is the best Fanta I've ever had, and I don't know why the heck they don't have it in the U.S. It's amazing. It's like passion fruit, peach, orange, I guess by the picture. Delicious. We've had probably like four of them so far in Kazakhstan. Well, this road started out really nice and beautifully paved, and then it turned into this shit. We're almost at the top though. We're just gonna go right over there. It started out as beautiful new pavement, which should have been a hint to us. In Central Asia, if there's brand spanking new pavement, the road probably hasn't been finished yet. Lesson learned. We went probably about, what, two kilometers, and then it turned to like really loose gravel for the rest of the way. Yeah, like three or four kilometers of gravel. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> It was more like eight kilometers, but it was much shorter than our other shortcut, so at least that was good. And we made it! We survived! <laughs> Don't ever take shortcuts in Central Asia. Take as many <laughs> shortcuts as you want. It doesn't matter. And fall and walk your bike as much as you want is what you're going to be doing, basically. of this lovely climb. We're at the top. We're at the top. We're gonna go down a tiny bit and then slowly go back up to the current camp there. But for all the steep shit. Uh... turns to shit. So much fun! They clearly don't give a shit about their border crossing between Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. So we're riding down this already shitty road and then all of a sudden we come to this. And there's just a friggin' hole in the road. Good job Kazakhstan. Your road building skills really need some work. 